you see the lack of gender diversity in the parliament, okay, it's improved a bit. And I think even the last election, with the slight increase in the numbers in parliament going up to be a little bit more of the norm, it's actually had a bit of a better impact already. Uh, I think in terms of, of, of ourselves here and looking at the situation in Ireland, a good starting point in looking at where we might want to go to is where, where did we come from? And I think it's too easy to look at a society like Ireland and sort of say, well, we've always been backward. They promise, if you like, a college experience that's going to be life-changing and so on. But in actual fact, for 50% of students, there are obstacles put in place without to, and throughout their career because of gender. And that's just uh, a fact. I mean, the Eighth Amendment, you would have seen the case in the last two weeks that was published uh, Miss B versus the HSC, where the Eighth Amendment was used in a case not even about a termination of a pregnancy, but in the case of a pregnancy where the medical profession wanted to enforce a caesarean section on a woman who felt that that wasn't the right choice for her, and basically she was denied all rights to have a say over what is a routine medical treatment.